Hey guys, Colleen here. Welcome back to my channel. Wow, it's been a while since I sat down and actually like did makeup. But um, yeah, just doing a little makeup situation here, trying out some stuff and um, chat a bit. Um, I do want to give some disclaimers. If chatty, long chatty videos are not your speed, you know, if, um, yeah, me talking about stuff that, you know, outside of beauty is not your speed, you know, I could click out and watch one of my other videos. Um, I must give full warning. I may have a little potty mouth in this video, just a little bit. You know, so if you're allergic, you know, some people are allergic to potty mouth. That's okay, you could also click out, don't subject yourself, you know. Or you could always put me on mute and just watch the look, you know. But I just feel like talking today. Haven't sat down and chatted, you know. Haven't been doing like makeup recently. Haven't been feeling, you know, the vibe and all that jazz. So, yeah, if you want to see what I am going to talk about and try to attempt, keep on watching. So, I moisturized and primed, did my brows and obviously prepped my eyes to do an eye look. I'm thinking of doing a green look because I was talking to my friend Deidre the other day and she's like I don't recall you ever doing like a green look on your channel I'm like you know you're right so we're gonna do a green look um see of my friend Kathy who um gave me the Carly Bible deluxe palette I had this once before I got rid of it I have it again I think that's makeup God's telling me you need this in your life so we're gonna use this oh and Kathy has a YouTube channel. I will link it below. It's really nice. Please go and subscribe and tell her I sent you and say hi, you know, and show her some love and support. So we're gonna use this palette. And this is a really lovely palette, uh, guys. I don't know what I was thinking when I got rid of it, you know, but clearly I was um, losing a couple marbles there. You know, senior citizen moment kind of situation. And I'm going to use the um, Alama Cosmetics um, Reina del Caribe palette because I need to get the greens, and this is where we're going to get the greens from. You know, funny story about this I ordered two June boxes, right? And didn't realize it. So of course, you know, when I collected it, when I collected the boxes, <laughs> and I was like, yes, June, July, because we in July, right? I opened it and I'm like, wait, am I seeing double? You know, like, what, what, what really going on here, Colleen? What did you do? Because my kids was like cracking up. They were like, yeah, mommy. Senior citizen moment, we all make mistakes, people. We're not perfect, you know. I never strive to be perfect. I just try to strive to be better than what I, I was yesterday. And speaking of which, yesterday, oh my gosh. Like home girl, home girl, let me start doing my makeup. Home girl had a close to a meltdown. All right, I'm gonna start with Coco Taxi here. This mustard yellow. I love mustard yellow um, eyeshadows. Let's just see how pigmented you are. All right, okay, you have some punch. Yeah, so I had a moment yesterday, not one of my proudest moments. I, let me explain, right? So earlier in the month of June, Homegirl would have used her ATM card to withdraw money and apparently she used it on a compromised ATM machine, 
right? Um, I guess some somebody tampered with it. Because um, I live in Trinidad and um, the crime rate is ridiculous, right? So, anywhere you go, at anywhere you turn, it's some crime situation. It's really, like, fucking ridiculous now. And I, I say fucking ridiculous because that's how I feel. Like, you just want to, like, be, like, some kind of neighborhood vigilante and just kick up all the bad guy butts and... I wouldn't say but the ass and send them to jail but I can't do that you know because that's not how we're supposed to be as a society we're supposed to have rules we're supposed to have you know a procedure and there has to be like a real rationale it's called natural justice right natural justice so anyhow so my card um was flagged and I was not able to withdraw any money from it because I tried other sites after and um, you know uh, couldn't couldn't get anything of course I was concerned called the bank because I like le bank donde porque why pourquoi why you know and they said no 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 you know um, did you use it from this particular site blah 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 I was like all right breathe a sigh of relief because I like girlfriend I need to get money you know I I'm not about selling my body on the street not yet not yet you know but I need to get money you know so went in and of course got a new bank card oh, oh and on a side note for those people in Trinidad and Tobago, well, more so Trinidad because I don't know what's the situation like in Tobago. So, if my Tobago brothers and sisters could, you know, edify us as to what is going on um, there with ATMs, just let us know in the comments below. But in Trinidad and Trinidad in particular, um, is advised that you use an ATM coming off of a bank itself because there is less likelihood of um, it being tampered with because it'll have security guards and security cameras. Not saying that it can't happen, but you know those little outlying ATMs you want to use because it's convenient, there's a little hole in the wall. No, those are more susceptible to them being tampered with. So they kind of like advise you, you know? So I have since stopped using ATMs um, in like, you know, those outpost kind of situations there. This is yellow. It's alright. It's not like Oh my gosh, but it's all right. We could, we gonna make it work. We gonna make it work. Maybe I should put on some tape. Tape. Yeah. So anywho, so got my card and whatnot. I think I used it a couple times, and I got money from it, which is all well and cool. Fast forward to the weekend, and home girl has commitments bills to pay school books to pay for all of that jazz so I actually and I was feeling most proud of myself I got up super duper early like how my parents would get up to go and do errands you know that kind of foul foul behavior and I said all right this is the agenda folks this is how we pump in this is how we do I was running a tight ship. I was running a tight ship, folks. Right? Very tight ship. Right? I don't know if I'm doing a wing liner or not. I was supposed to get, there was a a wing liner. One of the members spoke about from LA Girls. That was like, LA Girl. That's like 13 TT. That looked really good. But of course, you know, I did not end up in Pennywise. Because I'll, I'll explain. 
you know and um, yeah so when take out a specific set of money to do my business only for that machine to tell me hold up you not authenticated I was like oh I not authenticated what the frig that mean I was like maybe it's your machine maybe it's not me it's your machine because I know I authentic anyways went to two other ATM machines same blinking thing I say you know what I use any Kali Bible I use in this one here these don't have names though so sorry coins so at this point I like what difference is fashion going on I like but I need money <laughs> you know so I called my bank I say hey bank yeah this give them the random as what I gave you earlier and they say, oh no, somebody forget to, we sorry, here it is, try it back in the next half hour, and you should be good to go, you should be GT man, I said, alright, I said, because I really need my money, um, you know, money, no money on the weekend is not a cool thing for me, you know, you never know what could happen, so, I gave them an hour. They told me half hour. I gave them an hour. I went to while nobody out. I gave them an hour. Home girl gave them an hour. Same thing. In three different ATMs. Mind you, I had to drive. Drive folks to these ATMs. And it was blinking hot. And my AC and the blowing my AC wasn't working, so my windows were down. So I was really hot and pissed. Pissed. So of course the second CSR, bank CSR, get cursed. When I say curse, ladies, he get cuss. One of, not, not one of my proudest moments, but he get cursed. And it had reached a point where I'm like, son, let me talk to your manager. Because I just about had it with the runaround. And for me, like I I am very funny in terms of when I pay for a good or a service. I expect you to deliver on that good and service and if you don't i get on like a skirt i tell you put him out here you know if you can't handle it i'm sorry i am sorry right so of course you know i was like mad mad vex i was what we trade out is like say blue vex blue vex yeah blue vex that's an expression. So I was blue vex. Cause talk to the supervisor. Tell her, say, listen here. This is 2018. This is not. I don't have to beg you for service. I could take all my money out and go to another bank. And if they piss me off, cuss them out, take my money out and go to the next bank. And after I've exhausted all of that, take my money and put it under the freaking mattress. You understand? Because as it is, at the end of the day, I don't get any interest on the money. I mean, you all give us like 0.0000000001%, which is like a yen cent interest, which is nothing. You know? So it's like, yo, you know? You're not doing me any favors right now. So, of course, you know, it's mad vex right mad mad vex anyhow I got my money I got my money I never had to fight for my money other than working at my job but to actually fight it from the bank was like no but we all have moments where um People and situation test us and we don't always um, have the answers at that point 
and um, I mean we we get all up in our feelings all up and for me that was a situation where I got all up in my feelings and I just tell people flat 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 I will gladly get all up in my feelings for my kids number one like don't come and tell me nothing about my kids I will come for your throat it's that serious I will come for your throat don't with my kids second is my money we going to duke it out right okay we're gonna do something here i use using the elf um hydrating coconut mist to wet my brush um okay this smells like Too Faced hangover rx coconut priming thing so this might be a good dupe for that because i think that one costs like 29 us and this is like I want to say four or six US. I would have gotten this on sale, so you know, calling like a good sale. So I'm going to use Celia here. I did swatch it. You would see my grubby little fingers in there. Right. So yeah, we all have our moments. Basically, the thing is in that situation, like, I guess I had nobody really advising me. I was on my own. And then my situation was serious because it's like, hey, I can't get money. And I need money to do, you know, I have commitments. So it's like, all your... And then they were incompetent. They really were incompetent. I... You could tell me you give me a bank card and you ain't authenticated. What world this is that, eh? This is nonsense. Nonsense. But anyhow, I would have seen <laughs> a situation, not similar to mine, but a situation where the outcome was similar in the sense that person was having a mental meltdown, breakdown, on Facebook and the sit that situation wasn't serious in my opinion it wasn't serious nah um, the only thing I think is serious on Facebook is that somebody slander your name somebody slander your name somebody was disrespectful to you on an open forum that is when I think you know facebook would become or could become serious but to say for instance um if you have a group and people make little stupid announcements like say for instance they leave in your group girlfriend it's not that serious life goes on people come and go Okay, I'm using this one here. This is called Varadero, I think. See me trying to roll my tongue and I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's like girlfriend is not that serious, you know, if they want to leave. Because I would have been in a group, it's not as... In my opinion substantially deep as say some of the other groups that I am also a member of it would it, it they just deal with it very superficial in my opinion it's you know nothing that serious you know but um, I would have been there because the person who's responsible for that group was a member in my group and they would have added me as a friend and I guess you know just to show that moral support there yeah okay I'll stay in the group um, I hardly posted you know um, because again the, the group wasn't necessarily my speed 
I'm not knocking it, but I mean, for those who know what I'm talking about, you would see um, I hardly post it in that group. And it's not to throw shade at anybody, it's just that it just wasn't my speed, you know? So, so yeah, so apparently it had some drama going on in that group. And the owner of the group, um, in my opinion, despite getting advice from people because I am certain I was the only one because I private message her and say hey don't give that situation a life you know it will only um, make things worse see me giving advice I'm certain other people would have given her advice as well you know and she just had a complete breakdown like mental because she started going mental on people you know um and i always suster as a people pleaser which i am not it's like it's either you like me or you don't like me and if you don't like me i don't friggin care you know but um yeah and she would have started she started to attack what I view was some really good people because they're also members in my group so you kind of know the good ones because you kind of know them from in your space and stuff and um these were good people you know um so she started attacking them and she kicked them out and she kicked out the ones who would have expressed um concern for the manner in which she was handling stuff posting certain things because she would have posted um something that i was a bit concerned about you know um she posted some child's test paper and to me i think that's a breach of confidentiality because that is i don't know what her employer's policies are in terms of sharing work publicly like i would never share my work publicly with anyone like i could lose my license my practice my license to practice you know because there's such a thing called confidentiality and she posted it and it almost came off as ridicule to the child and i'm thinking to myself but you're the child's teacher if anything that's an indictment on you going in with the stealer um liquid metals shaman glow liquid eyeshadow in la deuce yeah you know what i mean and i mean i just i just found that to be in poor taste to be honest and you're probably saying colleen but you talking about this is in poor taste i perhaps maybe but i'm talking about things that bother me and the person has since removed me from their group so i could only assume they don't want me to contact them so you know i am going to to talk about what i want to talk about or how i feel to talk about it right and they got rid of some really good members in my opinion and i think that is ego but that is ego talking there because I think she removed herself from other groups, other groups in my opinion that are solid groups that you would want 
to be a part of because um, of what they offer and I'm not even talking about my group I'm not even counting mine in that but there are other groups and I'm just thinking man you behaving like such a little girl because your ego has really gotten the better of you alrighty okay let me put some primer on this is not necessarily the look I was going for it's looking a little scary but we're gonna roll with it alright <laughs> yeah so anyways getting back to the story um, I did add a little of the lighter what is this L L Malicion in the corners to brighten it up a little bit and I use an LA Girl um, Pro Prime yeah oh I did find this guys um this is the AOA Popo Wonder Blender this is what it looks like dry and this is what it looks like wet I bought a whole bunch of them <laughs> bless my heart I yeah and they are really really soft All right so I have high hopes for this being a dupe for the cult fave beauty blender All right so we're gonna try it out and you're going to see for yourself it right this is a dollar fifty-five US and no lie this is the same as my and this is a beauty blender here same same soft consistency so it have me again wondering the conspiracy of the beauty blender right in terms of why does it have to be so expensive <laughs> right just letting it dry down a little bit so we can get full coverage but basically what I'm saying is we all stumble we all make mistakes um, the thing would be knowing that and acknowledging you have made a mistake and apologizing for it and trying to move away from that mistake <clears throat> so like for me because now the CSR was just simply unacceptable behavior it is but saying you know making a big announcement on a live and saying um people announcing that they're leaving your group that's not unacceptable behavior that is unnecessary behavior i agree maybe a plea for attention and probably bringing in that negative energy but again it's not um unacceptable and if you are the admin we just delete it and you don't give life to it you know and and that will be the end of that but you know when you choose to give life to something accept the consequences of yeah you just have more way bro accept the consequences for giving something life you know what I mean we all adults here you know um, the poor me, the poor me post people could only, you know, they'll only believe so much, you know. But if it is, you're doing like five, six poor me posts, like, come on, ease up, give it a break, move on, grow up, build a bridge, get over it, as my auntie would say. <laughs> build a bridge and get over it, you know. And I think that's the problem that a lot of us have we don't know how to let go and get hope for something you know so so yeah so that's basically most of my chatting here today gosh golly my batteries keep dying on me apparently I didn't charge any batteries and I have like three batteries you know I should be the last one saying my battery died, but it did die. Clearly, I am blabbering too 
much. <laughs> you know. But yeah. So anyways, moral of this story. Hopefully she in her quiet place realized how damaging her ego was in this situation which is just so simple and non-important because she lost a lot of good members whether she cares to admit it now or not and there will be others who will who are quietly watching you know and saying hmm, well if you could do this to them who is me you know because I know some people got kicked out and a lot of people ride out you know and like for me speaking from an admin point of view that is something to like pay attention to you know yeah you want to weed out people but you don't label your good your good members as toxic because they have an opinion independent of yours you know you're being an absolute idiot there at that point that is pure 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 your ego there you know if you don't want to take stock of the nonsense you did you know like for me the people who I removed from my groups were people who just broke the rules they were disrespectful they broke rules and they couldn't be bothered they they, they think they were above it all and they weren't answerable I don't delete people because they have a difference of opinion if they have a difference of opinion and they leave that's a different thing but I've never deleted anyone for that I'm using this Luxie brush I love this Luxie brush funny thing is like I said I I am um, ordered two by accident and real people were offering to buy the brushes particularly brushes I mean people want to buy the box but real people want to buy the brushes um already gave the brushes to a friend she saw it I don't know she had to jump on my pictures on my phone and I said okay cool no scene you know um, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with the rest of the um, items because I do have an extra one of these I think I keep in the bum bum cream I'm sorry but I love bum bum cream and those will be good for when I am traveling because they're even smaller than the travel size I think that that's like a deluxe sample because it's even smaller than the $20 um, Bum bum cream, you know, and I just love how that thing smells and makes my skin feel. It is that good, you know. So I tried on the Battington lashes and I hate them. <laughs> oh my god, Bandon, this is so stiff. Like, I was literally fighting with this for like the past. I'm gonna lie and tell you like 15 minutes and I don't fight up with lashes like that like for me when a lash starts fighting you like that it's time to pitch it and I actually have a second pair and I know I'm not going to use that I don't know if I'm gonna be wicked enough I think it'll be wicked if I give a, a subscriber that because it'll be like what the frick so Battington lashes are so not worth it. I don't like the shape of the lash and I don't like the band. The band is really stiff. It is poking me in the eye even though I would have trimmed it down to my like eye size. It's, it's like poking me and it's annoying to no ends. They did give me this and I like this this is my kind of Verona this is my kind of nude so I know for a good brand eh? and this is a nude that I could afford not to wear a lip liner <laughs> Uh, 
So yeah, let me put a little blush blush on the face face. Going back in with the same Oxy blush and I'm taking Tropical. This looks super duper. I'm just lightly dabbing it. And then I'm gonna take a brush or thing brush and mm -hmm. give it a little flash of color cake lores look you see the inner lash it is popping the friggles like really bro Want to do that today? You looking to do that today? <laughs> Let me know, you know. Let me know. I'm taking this Luxy highlighter brush, tapered highlighter brush. Oopsie. Can't afford to lose you. Going back in the Kali Bible palette. Let me just spritz this brush. Hmm. I think we will go for these two. BH makes some really nice blush um highlighters, hemi blushes. Look at that Okay, we need to like kind of diffuse you a little bit because you just oh boy oh boy mm -hmm. right we could do that we could do that we could roll with you just mm. look at that wildness hear me wildness you know what I'm gosh look at that bling edge going somewhere now. Mm. Girly, wow, we. Mm. Woo we, yeah. Let's spritz you. Down. I'm really liking this. This reminds me of, like I said, that Too Faced um, Hangover RX situation. I'm gonna rub these lashes off in all of This is just annoying me. Blush. Mm. I'm just press you in sponge all right let me go and like do fix my hair a little bit try a little errands to look like people and we'll close off this extremely long chatty get ready with me video yeah okay so this is final look here as if I'm going anywhere <laughs> yeah but I'm really liking this lip I like the lip I like I love the sponge you know I love the spray yeah this is the lip here this is the lip you know um the palette is this palette is neither here nor there for me um this palette is like oh my god I'm never letting you go I'm not going to do the Rose Jack situation with you again. I'm never going to let you go, you know. And um, what's the other thing I use? Um, this is a complete waste of time and money. So I know Boxy trying to expose us to new stuff, but let me just see. 
this is not worth 28 US. I'm sorry. The, the only thing I like about this is the case. And I like it. So I'll probably keep like lashes that I want to reuse in this, you know, especially for traveling and stuff like that. But yeah, I mm -mm. and I don't think this is 28 US either. It just looks pretty like the packaging looks pretty but it's cardboard packaging it's not like you know uh not knocking the girl but i really hope she does you know step it up basically um not driving this look too much but we try a thing you know maybe next time i'll do something little swanky er you know but i really like these i would highly recommend these to you guys like no lie i will leave a link in the comments no in the description bar below <laughs> you know me i just get tongue twisted so you could get these because i think these are better than the beauty blenders and i do own them I, you know i love that brand but a dollar 55 folks yeah, so I like need to peel these lashes off seriously now because it is annoying me. Oh, you know what I also love too? That I didn't mention. The brushes. Love the brushes. These brushes are actually worth the 42 US they are. They feel sturdy. The there is no sh sh shedding of the bristles. Shedding girlfriend shedding. Yeah, there's no shutting of the bristles and it feels firm. It doesn't feel flimsy. So I could understand why people want to buy the extra um, box from me just for the brushes. So yeah, so that's basically it for this video. Thanks for sticking around and tolerating my, you know, chit chat drama situation. I don't know how I'm going to like title this video. So this is going to be a very interesting video it's not a quick bait i'm just talking yeah so basically that is it thanks for watching do make sure to subscribe because the quicker you subscribe is the faster i host that giveaway just saying you know someone asks when i'm going to have it i was like when i reach four thousand. so yeah so show me some love you know give it out four thousand and i'll give you back something if you yeah and make sure to comment in the comment section below i will list all the products for you guys as always and until next time bye